What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of The Breakdown. Man, there's a lot of people out there that's, that is just mad at Floyd Mayweather because he beat Manny Pacquiao. I mean, these people out here, they really psyched themselves out into believing that Floyd Mayweather was going to lose to Manny Pacquiao. I mean, all you had to do was come on, come over to my channel, listen to my prediction video. I told you that Pacquiao was probably only going to win two or three rounds. I told you this. Carcino's been telling you this. Uh, we've all been telling you. And you guys fed into the hype machine. Fed into the hype machine. I mean, it got so much to where people put down so much money on Manny Pacquiao in Las Vegas that they got, they got so much to where they put down so much money in Vegas on Pacquiao that a lot of people, that Pacquiao became the favorite. It, according to the Vegas books, and Vegas cashed in on all you suckers. So, you know, but I, the reason why I got Snoop Dogg on the picture is because for all of you guys, for all of you guys who thought Floyd Mayweather was going to lose, you should have asked Snoop Dogg first because he probably would have told you something like this. Quit bullshitting with yourself. Quit BSing with yourself. Because that's exactly what most of you guys did. That is exactly what you did. You psyched yourself out. You you did nothing. But you, all you did was kid yourself into going to spend a hundred bucks, thinking that this man right here that you see in front of you was going to lose, and he didn't. Not only that, he outclassed Pacquiao so much that now you guys are upset. And you don't want to give him the credit of being an all-time great. Well, ask yourself this question. Is Mike Tyson an all-time great? Now, I'm going to ask my own self, since I'm asking you to ask yourself. And I'm going to say, yeah, Mike Tyson is an all-time great. So if, if, you have, if you put Tyson on the list as an all-time great, you have to put Floyd Mayweather on the list. Here's why. And you have to put him up higher on the list than Mike Tyson, too. Here's why. Mayweather's got a better resume than Mike Tyson. Uh, the people on his resume, he's 48 no, so he's obviously beat those people. Um, and, and it's not even so much that Mayweather's 48 no and Mike Tyson wasn't. When, when Mike Tyson did fight people, he got beat. Uh, Mike Tyson didn't even come close to fighting the best heavyweights in his era. He never fought Reddick Bowe. George Foreman was probably over the hill, but he was still fighting. He never fought George Foreman. He never fought Michael Moore. He didn't fight Ray Mercer. And I understand Tyson went to jail in between there, but them guys were still around. He didn't fight Haseem Rahman, who beat Lennox Lewis. He didn't fight Haseem Rahman. The only two really good fighters that Tyson fought was Holyfield twice and Lennox Lewis. And he got beat three times, a total of three times. He, did, he, did, he never won against anybody that was good that was in their prime. He beat Larry Holmes, but Larry Holmes was 39 years old. I mean, 39 years old in a heavyweight division, that uh, a division that's known for giving us knockouts. Larry Holmes was old. I mean, any do you guys really think Mike Tyson would have beat a prime Larry Holmes? I don't think so. And the only reason Michael Spinks is famous is because he beat Larry Holmes. I think maybe before Tyson fought him. So... You know, although although Larry Holmes did come back and beat uh, Ray Mercer, I mean, th he was clearly not the same Larry Holmes. So, I don't want to hear nothing about Tony Tucker. Don't want to hear nothing about no Trevor Burbick. The only reason Trevor Burbick is famous is because he kept getting up and falling back down. Mike Tyson, for the most part, knocked out a bunch of bombs. And I'm not saying that Mike Tyson couldn't have knocked out Holyfield had he fought him you know, before he went to jail, maybe he could have. But the fact is, he didn't fight him before he went to jail. He fought him. He fought him after. He fought Lennox Lewis after. And I don't care if if Mike Tyson wasn't the same after he got out of jail. The fact is, is that we didn't see it. He got beat. We saw what we saw, and the results are what the results are. No matter how you slice it, you can't change that. And Mike Tyson. Like I said, he didn't even come close to fighting all the best heavyweights. I'm not saying Tyson would have lost to Michael Moore and Ray Mercer. Now, Riddick Bowe, he, he would have got beat by Riddick Bowe. I, I don't believe he would have beat Riddick Bowe. But I'm not saying Tyson would have lost to those guys. But had Tyson 
had Tyson fought those guys and beat them, I, I might put I, I put him up higher um, on the list. Um, but back to Mayweather, uh, like I said, if you're gonna if you're gonna put Mike Tyson on the list, you have to put Floyd Mayweather on the list, whether you like it or not, because Floyd Mayweather has fought some of the best people in his era, and he's beaten them all. You know, and then oh, and then Mike Tyson also got knocked out by a nobody at Buster Douglas. Um, Floyd Mayweather, he's been challenged by people, but I mean, he's never been like challenged by somebody that's like a nobody, um, as well. So, um, you know, whether you like it or not, this man's the best in this era, not Manny Pacquiao. Um, so, you know, he's got one fight left. Like I said, you, you guys should, uh, I mean, you, you get, you get, it's a quick turnaround, but you, you guys had better go try to find the next guy that you think can beat. Uh, Floyd Mayweather because you really don't have much time and you know maybe you guys will psych yourselves out into believing that 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 uh whoever this next guy is uh has a chance um you know and we'll just have to see who it is I mean I think there are some fighters out there that have a much better chance than Pacquiao had but like I said for all you guys that you guys you guys are the ones that fed up into the media so the joke's on you if you lost if you feel like you gave away your hundred dollars then you got nobody to blame but yourself. You need to you need you need to follow boxing. You need to stop listening to the media because we try to tell you Pacquiao was not as good as you thought he was against Floyd Mayweather. I mean that's just the bottom line. And Pacquiao was the one to blame for the fight because you know the only thing I was probably wrong about is Pacquiao did not come forward and let his hands go like I thought he was because if he had of well. I think we all know what would have happened, and even Pacquiao knows it, and that's the reason why he didn't. He was afraid to get countered by that right hand. So for all you, you know, Pacquiao fans out there, um, you, you, you know, I'm, I'm glad you guys are deciding to stick around and leave negative comments, you know, because for the first time, you, you know, you guys' argument is not as strong. You know, like back then, you guys had a strong argument, a very strong argument. I mean, it seemed like we were losing. It seemed like everything we said, you know, on the Mayweather side or the people that, you know, that stick up for Mayweather, it seemed like everything we said, you guys just had a a better counter for it and and everything. But now, you know, you guys' argument, it's just out of frustration now. And you guys are beat. And you guys are defeated. So, um, with that being said, um, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know where Pacquiao is going to go from here. Uh, don't care where Pacquiao goes from here. Um, I can tell you one thing: he's probably not going to be the same mentally. He'll probably, you know, finish out his career fighting the Chris Algeries of the world, and uh, he better not lose to none of those guys either, because that will uh, hurt his legacy. Uh, Mayweather's got one fight left, and to tell you the truth, even if Mayweather loses, it does nothing for his legacy. Uh, it does nothing to hurt his legacy. I mean. Um, he would still be considered the best in this era and still one of the best uh, of all time. So uh, 48 no, uh, TBE, and I don't mean necessarily TBE of all time, uh, but TBE in this era. And uh, you and, uh, you basically uh, you can't disagree with that. So, uh, you know, next time you think Mayweather's going to lose, uh, just just remember that. Just, just uh, rewind this video and listen to that Snoop Dogg clip. And let Snoop Dogg tell you, I'm out.